I always say that hybrid air vehicles is the inheritor of the British airship tradition. It's, it's a huge milestone. It's very exciting. The flight technical characteristics of it are stunning. We have what we believe is the entry point for a new form of aircraft. I think we know we can do something other aircraft can't do. As important as the helicopter will be the hybrid air vehicle. Early 2010, we took a team over uh, and presented our proposal to the US Army. Uh, Lucky presented first, we presented the next day. Um, we weren't expected to do very well, um, little company from the UK, um, and we blew them away. But when we get to flying in August 2012, what a result. So we, we flew uh, our 300-foot uh, baby, baby version. Uh, we bought that vehicle back off the US Army once because of the gridlock budget problems in the States. They couldn't afford to run, run with it anymore. And the immediate task in hand was to pack up the aircraft. So the team had a, a remarkable challenge to take a, a fully made aircraft in, of 300 foot in length and to get it into a form that can be shipped back to the UK from the US in 30 days. That was the amount of time that the US government gave us to clear the hangar. It had to come be disassembled into 14 very large boxes to be brought over from the States. So it's going to take a while to put that back together. So we're doing it in a very measured process and by the end of the year we will fly um, this aircraft for the first time in the UK. the HAV 304 comes out of that current and hangar for the first time, we'll be stopping the traffic. There'll be people from all over the world interested in that vehicle coming out and they'll be amazed. So it's, you know, it's both a game changer, environmentally good and, and going to be cheaper for the client.